Hello and welcome to Reshi Speech Test. Today's video is the best scared skin combos for chapter 5. Let's get into this video. This video is the best Scourge skin combos for Chapter 5. And since I've done combos for the Plague pretty recently, I thought I'd get combos for the female counterpart, which is Scourge. Both the skins came back today after 185 days. They can be found in the art shop. You can either buy the skins separately for 1,500 V-Bucks each, or if you want to buy the Grim Medicine Bundle, it costs you 2,200 V-Bucks, which gets you the Plague, the Scourge, their respective backlinks, pickaxe, and also a glider as well, which is pretty cool. And if you ever would like to use my credit card for any cosmetics in the art shop, for example, the Scourge or Plague skin, my credit code is S P E E C H or Speech. And if you do decide to use it, feel free to let me know. So I thank you personally. And the actual Scourge skin is a part of the Grim Medicine set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 6. Basically, it's like the Witch Doctor or the Plague Doctor themed skins. Pretty cool in my opinion, both of them. I like them a lot. Obviously, this is the female version. So if you do want a male version, the Plague is the one for you. And let's get into first combo's back bling. First combo's back bling is the green herb. Part of the Stars team set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 8, and this is a Gaming Legend Series back bling. Works very nicely for the brown and green design, and the style I'm using is just, or colour I should say, is green herb. And on this actual skin itself, you have a nice green, black, and brown design with the actual bandages around our arms and our legs as well. Pickaxe is the Leon's Combat Knife, which is a Gaming Legend Series pickaxe. Part of the Raccoon City Survivor set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 2, and this is Leon S. Kennedy's pickaxe, and the back is a Resident Evil theme back bling as well, and pickaxe is also. The umbrella for all combos is the One Shot, part of the John Wick set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9, and you got this for getting a victory royale and the John Wick Bounties LTM in Chapter 1, Season 9. If you don't want to use this or don't have this, you can use any other glider or umbrella as black or green theme. A palm leaf would work very nicely for green, but I thought for these combos, I'd use a black themed glider or umbrella. Contrail is a retro sci-fi, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 4, use it for the green design. You can also use the Shadow Smoke from this season, which is a nice green and black design, which is Hades. The Contrail works very nicely. Let's move on to the first weapon wrap, which is this one right here, which is an item shop weapon wrap, which is bubbly, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. It's a nice animated weapon wrap, has a light green and dark green design. Let's move on to combo number 2 now. And for this combo, I thought I'd use a Gaming Legend series back thing once again, which is a Blaze Canister, part of the Horizon Zero Dawn set. In shoots in Chapter 2, Season 6, and this is Aloy's back thing. Works very nicely for the green and black design, especially with the actual, like, with, like, the actual toxic or like the venom or I don't know what's called, the actual liquid in it, but basically it works very nicely for the green. But either way, works nicely for green and the black. Pickaxe is a Hayden key from this season's Battle Pass, part of the Underworld King set. And this is Hades Pickaxe, using it for black and green design. And gold does go pretty nicely as well, the yellow on the actual Blaze Caster itself. Let's move on to the actual weapon wrap now, which is this one right here, which is Ooze, part of the TMNT set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 1. It's a nice animated and reactive weapon wrap, but this was from the TMNT Kawabunga Event Pass last season, and this was on the premium tier or premium track. And I basically want you to spend a thousand speed bucks to get the premium rewards to unlock the shredder and the super shredder skin, and also this weapon wrap as well. This works very nicely for the green, the gold, and black design. Let's move on to the combo number three now. For this one, I thought I'd use the Crimson Crest, part of the Order of the Waning Moon set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 1's Battle Pass, and I'm using the actual color Emerald Crest for the green, as you can see right here. Pickaxe is the slasher, part of the shape set. Introduced in Chapter 4, Season 4, and it's Michael Mars' pickaxe menu, it's a brown design. Looks cool and also sounds cool as well when you swing, and also when you hit critical spots, it also sounds pretty cool as well. Let's move on to the weapon wrap for this combo, which is this one right here. From the Chapter 5, Season 1 Battle Pass, which is the Stygian Flame, part of the Flame and Fortune set. And this is one of Valeria's four weapon wraps you can get. This one works very nicely for the black and green design is also animated as well which is always an added bonus let's move on to combo number four now for this one i thought i'd use a background i've never used before which is a gaming legend series backlink which is a bird skull part of the silver and sorcery set introduced in chapter four season three works very nicely for the silver design it also has like a little bit of lightning pulsating around as well which is pretty cool Pickaxe is the Icebreaker, part of the Arctic Command set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 1, is an Iron Drop Pickaxe you can buy. Use it for the black and silver design. The black goes nicely with the skin, and the silver goes very nicely with the bird skull back, because the actual back itself is a little bit of black and silver design on a mixture of both colours. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now, which is this one 
right here with the black and silver designed weapon wrap, which is Assassin, part of the John Wick set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9. This can be bought in the art shop. Works very nicely for this combo. Let's move on to combo number 5. Now, for this one, I thought I'd use a shield themed back thing, and the actual shield I'm using is the Banner Shield, which is part of the Banner Brigade set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season X. You can also use the Banner Cape. Either one work nicely. The actual banner I'm using is like the gas mask one here. I'm not sure how you get this banner. You can use any banner that you like, but I thought I'd use this one. The actual colour I'm using is on the third row. Second one across, basically black. Works very nicely. I thought the actual gas mask design goes nicely with the skin. If I could have like a witch doctor mask or plague doctor mask, I would use that instead. But I don't think there are any banners for that. But either way, my opinion works very nicely. As I did mention, you can use a cape instead of the shield if you prefer. Pickaxe is the medaxe. Part of the Bad Medicine set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1, and I'm using the Toxin style for the green and black design. The weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is a fully blacked out weapon wrap, which is Boogeyman, part of the John Wick set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9. And this weapon wrap could have been obtained for getting challenges done in the John Wick Bounty LTM in Chapter 1, Season 9. If you don't have, if you don't have this, you can use any other black themed weapon wraps you have. Could be, for example, the Stealth Black. Could be tie dye abyss, but make sure your banner code is black or any other black themed ones you have. Or if you don't want to use black, you can also use green instead. It would work nicely. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number six. For this one, I thought I'd use a cape back thing, or a shroud, I should say, which is the Apocalypse Shroud, part of the Omega Harbinger set. Introduced in Chapter Fortnite OG, Season Fortnite OG's Bat Pass, and this is the Omega Rocks back thing from that season. And the actual emissives I'm using are green or green. And they're using it for the brown and green design. A little bit of black as well. Pickaxe is a combat knife. Part of the Future War set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 5. This is Sarah Connor's pickaxe. Men use it for the brown design of the handle. But the silver does work very nicely of the actual blade of the knife itself. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now. Which is this one right here. Which is fully brown themed weapon wrap. Which is Rogue Archaeology. Part of the Indiana Jones set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3's Battle Pass. And Indiana Jones was the secret skin from that season. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number seven. For this one, I thought I'd go for a chapter five themed combo for the back bling pickaxe. And do I do it with the ref wrap as well? I didn't do it with the ref wrap, but the actual back bling and the pickaxe are both chapter five themed. So I couldn't really find a ref wrap that's chapter five themed to go with this combo. Back bling is Katara's water skin, part of the avatar set. Introduced in chapter five, season two, using it for the mainly brown design of the actual water skin itself. This is Katara's back bling. Pickaxe is the Wick's Katana, part of the John Wick set. Introduced in Chapter 5, Season 1. Men use it for the brown design of handle, but the actual blade does work very nicely as well. But if you don't want to use Katara's water, water skin, you can also use the Wick's Katana as a backlink and the pickaxe as well. And the weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is Cool Sign Falcon, part of the Air Royale set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 8. And I thought I'd use it for the black and brown design. This is how it looks on an actual weapon. Well, this is how the actual wrap looked on a weapon, which is the assault rifle. Look, works pretty nicely in my opinion. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number eight. For this one, I thought I'd use the rainbow clover, which is my favourite green back wing I do own, which is part of the green clover set. Introduced in chapter one, season eight. Works very nicely for the green design. Pickaxe is a blade of the waning moon. Part of the Order of the Waning Moon set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 1's Battle Pass. And I'm using the third style, which is the Blade of the Verdant Moon for the black and green design. The weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is my favourite black and black and green themed weapon wrap, which is 1's and 0's. Part of the Follow the White Rabbit set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 1. It's a very nice animated weapon wrap in my opinion. It's basically the Matrix weapon wrap. Works very nicely. Let's move on to combo number 9 now. And for this one, I thought I'd use this back thing right here, which is Sheriff's Duffel, part of the Survivor in Arms set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 8, and this is Rick Grimes' back bling. We can also use the Assassin pack, which is just one of John Wick's back blings, or the Chloe's pack would work nicely for the black design. Pickaxe is a Herald's Wand, part of the Grim Medicine set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 6, and this is a pickaxe that like is in the same set as the Scourge and Plague Skin, which could be bought in the actual bundle, which is a Grim Medicine bundle, if you do want to pick up there. It does come back by itself, obviously, today, or when it came returned, it's only in the bundle, but it does get sold separately as well. Works very nice if it's designed for the skin, the black, silver, and the green as well. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now, which is this one right here, which is the Twisted Serpent, 
Pot the Sapphire Hagiri set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3. Nice animated breath wrap, using it for the black and green design. And this is basically a snake slithering around the breath wrap, which is pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. Pretty sure this is from the Sapphire Hagiri pack. I don't know if it's a quest pack. And it was definitely a pack. I don't know if it was a quest. You have to do your quest to get this. Or you just bought the pack straight away. And you got it. But either way, it was from the Sapphire Higiri pack. Let's move on to the final combo for this Scourge now. Our best Scourge skin combos for Chapter 5. And for this one, I thought I'd use a back bling. Which is the Beyond Port. It's a black bean back bling with some eyes. Which is part of the Elemental Eidolon set. Hence used in Chapter 3, Season 3. And this is part of the Phantasm level up quest pack from that season. And I'm using the actual Beyond Portal style for the black Pickaxe is a vision, part of the Ouroboros set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7. This is an iron shot pickaxe you can buy, using it for the black design. I thought since the back bling has eyes, pickaxe has eyes as well. And the web wrap is the web wrap that's part of that level up quest pack from Chapter 3, Season 3, which is this one here, which is Spectral Vision, part of the Elemental Eidolon set as well, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3. Thought I'd use it for the green and black design. Also got some eyes on it as well, so I thought I'd go for an eye theme combo, something I've not really done before with the skin. I'd say I've ever tried to use it with the Scourge or the Plague, but it does actually work pretty nicely, to be fair. So that's all the best Scourge skin combos for Chapter 5 done. Pretty, both these skins are pretty clean in my opinion, the Scourge and the Plague. Obviously, they're currently in the item shop at the time we record this video, which is the 13th of May, 2024. So if you do want to pick them up, you can pick them up today. I'm not sure how long they'll be there. But either way, if you do want any other video suggestions made, for example, skin, back bling, pickaxe, glider, slash umbrella, contra, or web wrap, or anything other Fortnite related, always feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'm always down to give something new a go. But anyways, that's pretty decent.